Hey guys, Mohan Pober here and today I'm going to share with you what in my opinion is the best business advice for young, um, I guess 18 years old kids or younger guys even. What would I do if I were to go back and what are my tips? So let's get to it. So hey, my name is Mohan Pober and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my journey in business. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses in the last few years. I made a lot of money, lost a lot of money and here to share my journey, my mistakes, my lessons. I'm also here to show you that you can buy an existing business instead of starting one from scratch and you can buy basically and have income from day one. And I'm also here to share with you that if you have an existing business, your best way to grow isn't by doing more sales and marketing, but it is to go out there and buy other businesses, complementary businesses, your competitors, etc., etc. And it's probably going to take you or take from you the same amount of capital as it is to start one from scratch because when you buy an existing profitable business, you basically have assets to use as a leverage. So this is what this channel is all about. If you didn't yet subscribe to the channel, I promise you won't regret it and it will really help me with the channel. And hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos. And yeah, engage with the videos. Hit comment, let me know what you think. And go to moanpower.com forward slash quiz to get more information about working with us and just getting more free value based on where you're at. Me and my team were involved in more than 300 of those deals and we can definitely share with you some of the lessons, thoughts and just open your eyes to what's possible. So this is for the introduction. Now let's go to today's topic. So what would I do if I were 18 years old, uh, kid again, kid or a young man again, right? And it's funny, when you're at 18, I think you're, you're thinking that you're the smartest guy in the world, but then it's funny that every year that goes by, you understand that uh, few years back you were just a, a stupid little kid basically and I think that's probably the biggest first lesson you just, just stay humble stay as humble as you can and remember that you don't know anything even if you think that you know anything you don't know anything because most of the biggest lessons in life only comes with experience I don't care how much you read how much videos you watch the biggest lessons in life will come from experience and only after you experience those experiences you'll actually understand hey I actually was a, a young little stupid kid back, day, uh, back then and the only way for me to learn those lessons were to be involved in some of those experiences. So I'd say that the biggest first lesson is really stay humble and be willing to learn and listen to pretty much anyone. I think that I don't care what stage you're at, always be willing to listen, always be willing to learn and do whatever you can to spend money on education. So whatever money you have, spend it on education and ideally the right education. So don't just buy, so do whatever, you, what I'm trying to say is do whatever you can so that education will also be involved with some kind of implementation. So I think the biggest mistake, especially now that it's so easy to be overwhelmed with education. So you want to make sure that you, the education that you're learning from is very action-oriented education. So don't learn just for learning sake itself. Learn so that learning could actually get to a point where you can implement things and take action on things and fail at things. I think failure is a key thing to do, key thing to do when you're young. The more you're able to fail, the more you'll eventually be able to be successful. And if you're afraid of failing, it will be really hard for you to be successful eventually. So Probably be humble, be willing to learn, and be happy with failure. Like literally be excited with every time you fail. Even in my life right now, every month that go by and I didn't experience some kind of a failure or a challenge, I, I know that I didn't grow enough. I'm, I was just doing things that are inside my comfort zone and I wasn't willing to expand myself to become a better version of myself. So I'd say those are probably the main few lessons. Um, what else? Learn to execute. So again, don't be satisfied with knowledge. The more you implement and execute, the more results you'll get eventually. And eventually what you should care about are the results as much as you need to, you need to learn to enjoy the journey. And that's probably another big lesson. Do whatever you can to find ways to be fulfilled with right now. Because unless you're enjoying the journey, as woo-woo and weird as it sounds, you'll eventually understand that's pretty much the only thing you have. Because 99% of your life will be spent in the actual process or journey towards the achievement, if that makes sense. 
and only maybe 1%, if you're lucky, will be spent in the achievements or in the success, if that makes sense. So right now, there's, there's a, the World Cup right now, and there's only one day of the final when the, the winner team is going to basically take uh, be, be the World Cup champion, right? But throughout all the year, all they're doing is working out, practicing towards that day. And unless they're enjoying their, their day to day, the actual game of playing football, the actual day of achieving it won't be worth it. That's the way I see life. You got to learn to enjoy your day to day. And then whenever you achieve something, you're like, yeah, it's all good. I achieved it. But it's like, I don't care. I'm going back to my day to day because I enjoy it anyway. And that achievement is just kind of like another stepping stone. Or a reminder that you're doing the right things, if that makes sense. Now, if you're watching this channel, you're probably asking, should I go and start a business? Should I go, should I go and buy a business? Um, I'm here to tell you, if you're 18, you want to do whatever you can to partner with someone. So it's either with me and my team, if you want. Uh, we were involved in more than 300 deals. We are the best out there to teach you how to buy an existing business. But I think it's going to be really hard for you to buy an existing business because we're buying a multi-million dollar businesses. So it's going to be really hard for you to not, it's, it's not that it's going to be harder for you. It's just that people are going to take you or treat you differently unless you have the track record behind you. And I guess people with experience have done things that you want to do. They're going to look at you very differently when you're going to tell them, hey, it's not just me, but I have a team around me and those people already trust me. And I'm just basically their, I guess, front head guy or the representer, if that makes sense, and then everything is going to be, then you're basically playing at the same level, and then it's all about just back to your personality. If you can do it, if you believe in yourself, then there's no reason for you not to, as long as you have the back of those people with experience behind you. And I think that is actually amazing thing to do, to go out there in this space. Again, if you have, first of all, have the fundamental, have the team around you with the experience, but then when you go and try to buy a business as a, let's say, 18 years old, guy, I think that you will learn more about business in one, two or three months of talking to business owners that you potentially looking to buy. You will learn more about business in those one, two months than most people learn in years trying to grow businesses from, from scratch, basically, because those business owners of those multi-million dollar businesses will open the doors for you. They will share with you everything you want to know about their business. You will learn more about business literally in those few months just by asking the right questions than most people know in their lifetime about business. So I think that alone is worth pursuing this path of buying businesses. And I'm, this obviously I'm talking about any age, right? Not just about young kids. But I think that the idea I'm thinking to myself, if I had the opportunity as a, an 18 years old kid to go out there and pursue the business of buying businesses and learn about all those different businesses by talking to sellers, potential business sellers. I mean, that's a game changer. That, that's, that's an amazing opportunity that I wish that I had when I started, really. And that's what we are giving with the partner program that we have. And that's what we work with people to do. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, go to moanpaver.com forward slash quiz. Um, and you'll see based on where you're at, we have a different program for people who just want to buy their first business. And it's a completely different game when you already have a successful six high six or seven figure business and you want to grow it by acquisition. It's a completely different game. So go to moanpaver.com forward slash quiz if you want to learn more about that. And what else? Yeah, share share this video with people you think who should know about this opportunity of what they should do when they're 18 years old. Um, uh, young men, if, if you can say, uh, guys or girls. And yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification button and let me know in the comments below if you have other tips. I really would love to hear what tips would you give to someone who is, your, who is 18 or maybe to even your younger self. What tip would you give to yourself, um, to your younger 18 years old self? So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.